Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Monday, March 25th, and it's an A-Day. I'm Ellie Neal. And I'm Evan Vines. And the WolfCast starts now. Do you need community service hours or volunteer opportunities to put on your future resume? Key Club has perfect events for you to get the hours you need. That's right, Ella. Key Club may be the turning point on deciding your future college. Taking the SAT is scary for most, but that's not all colleges look at. Volunteer hours are crucial for your resume. Well, one thing we do here at Key Club is our uh, volunteer opportunities. And we have lots of different opportunities that get all students involved and give them something to do over the weekend so that they can be prepared for college and it gives the colleges something to look at. When I plan to go to college, I need something good for my resume and one thing that colleges always love to look at is community service. And with Key Club, it gives me lots of different community service opportunities that'll be good to put on my college resume. And if I ever want to get into NHS, all the Key Club hours I've already done will be helpful to get in. Key Club is not just a program where you can get your hours, but they bring the student body of Cedar Park together. So. I think it really helps bring people together because like, it's like a very common goal that basically anybody can share and that you just get to help other people and so it gives something just everybody, no matter what your interests are, whether you like, like band or sports or robotics, something that everybody like, can do and work together with is like just assisting other people that need help. Whether it's working with others for hours or just simply giving volunteer opportunities for those in need, Key Club is an organization you don't want to miss. Thanks, Garrett. Coming up next, your top three things for today, a sports report with Jalen Gomez and another adorable pet of the week. We'll be right back. We are not just here to share announcements. We are here to tell stories. Your stories. Students depend on us. And what they need from us is to be hyped, to be ready to be informed, to be successful, to be Timberwolves. We are real news. We are sideline reporters, moment captures, question askers, life sharers, cheers, spreaders, and voice givers. And above all, we are students just like you, here to help you. We are journalism, newspaper, yearbook, and broadcast. We are CPHS News. Welcome back to School CP. I'm Justin Bourne. Here are your top three things you need to know today. First, Attorney General William Barr has released a four-page summary of Special Counsel Robert Mueller's report. The summary claims Mueller wasn't able to find enough evidence to determine whether or not President Donald Trump colluded with Russia in regards to the 2016 election. Trump said after this came out, he's going to slam and shame the media. Next, a woman in Arizona was attacked by a jaguar after she went across the barriers trying to take a selfie with the ferocious animal. None of her injuries were life-threatening and the zoo tweeted out after the event, there were proper barriers in place to keep our guests safe. Not a wild animal's fault when barriers are crossed. Finally, New England tight end Rob Gronkowski is retiring after nine seasons with the Patriots. He won three Super Bowls in those nine years, finished with 80 touchdowns in 115 games, averaging out to .69 touchdowns per game. And those are the top three things you need to know today with CPHS News. I'm Justin Bohr. Texas Best Mini Donuts is a proud sponsor of CPHS News. Go check them out by CPMS and Free Wills Baptist Church off of Cypress Creek. Find them on Instagram at texas.mini.donuts. Smokey Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy. Proudly supporting Cedar Park High School. Thanks, Justin. Coming up next is Sports Report with Jalen Gomez covering everything you missed over spring break. Welcome to the Wolfcat Sports Report. I'm Jalen Gomez. Girls soccer is now in the playoffs as they will be taking on Elgin this Friday at Pflugerville High School, so be sure to show out and show your support to the girls. Boys soccer also takes on Georgetown in the first round of the playoffs this Thursday at Georgetown at 8 p.m., so show out for that as well. Baseball will be playing this Saturday at 1 p.m. against Georgetown at Georgetown, so be sure to show out for that as well. 
And lastly, softball looks to continue on a stellar season this Friday night against Glenn at Glenn High School. And that's all I have for you on the Sports Report with CPHS News. I'm Jalen Gomez. Thanks, Jalen. And now your Pet of the Week. These are Natalia Peck's beautiful Pekin ducks named Sally and Floyd. They're very energetic and their favorite activity is to swim in the pool together. Their favorite things to eat are grapes and worms. No one expected these two to grow up so fast so they can be a real hassle. Nonetheless, their family loves them very much. Thank you all for watching. We hope you have a great week back with CBHS News. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a phenomenal day, Cedar Park. Hey there, Evan Vines here. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy all things CPHS, hit subscribe. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours.